Yo, 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 what's happening? It's your man, OG Bo Beats TV. Coming to you today with another special video. I got some uh, special to review for you guys. Uh, I know you saw the, the thumbnail, so you already know what it is. But basically, um, so when this shoe first came out, I think it was last year, um, I was kind of skeptical on, on getting the shoe. I liked the shoe, um, but it just wasn't a must have at the time. So I just ended up not getting the shoe. A few months later, I actually saw the shoe at the Nike outlet, and um, I still didn't pick it up, but I got to check it out. I thought it was a dope shoe, and then I kept it moving. And then uh, recently, you know, on the Nike app, it had a big sale going on. I think it was 25% or something like that, and I just decided to go ahead and make it happen, and I picked up the shoe. So I'm going to go ahead and review the shoe for you, let you know what I think about it, uh, tell you the story behind the shoe. Uh, but before I do that, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the page. Make sure you click the like button. Make sure you leave a comment if you got any questions or want to make a comment. And uh, But yeah, let's get into the video, OG Lil Beats. I'm making beats, I'm rocking heat You hear the music playing, plus you see what's on my feet So unique, a hater, can't critique I kill the game, tell your swag, R.I.P They can't compete, too many balls, too many drums Too many Yeezys, too many J's, I like the ones I like the sixes, like elevens, three fifties too I use reason, fruity loops and pro tunes Boom, so here we have the box. Uh, came in the mail yesterday. Uh, with everything going on with the coronavirus and everything being shut down. It actually took this shoe about probably two and a half weeks to get here. Um, so it took quite a while. I don't know if it would have been different if I'd have done two day shipping or next day shipping, but it wasn't in a rush to get the shoe. Um, so I finally got it in the mail. Came in, the, of course, the Nike cardboard box with the Nike tape. Um, and I was able to secure the shoe. So here is the box of the shoe. As you can see, it's a black Nike box. On the top of the box, you got, um, it says Nike on air. All right, and then a uh, pretty plain box, nice box, Nike symbol on it. And then the label on this reads, Air Max 98 OA GS. Vast green, electro green, Size 11, my size. Uh, retail is $200. Go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so um, retail $200. I'll tell y'all what I paid. I think the shoe was maybe on sale for 113 or something like that. And with the 25% discount, it came to like 85 bucks plus tax, so I played a total of 92 bucks for the shoe, so it was definitely a steal, definitely was worth picking up, and uh, let's go ahead and check this bad boy out. So open up the box, comes with a card, that's cool, check that out. All right, so it says, I hope when you wear these sneakers, it feels like you have a piece of New York with you, and remember, to walk with love and heart for all people. Queen Leo. Back of the card. All right, so you see the wrapping paper in here, pretty dope. It says London, Paris, Tokyo, New York City, SH. All right. So boom, here you have it. You got the Air Max 98. Uh, Air Max 98, Gabriel Serrano uh, special edition shoe. So the story behind this shoe is it was a competition in New York City uh, to draw a designer shoe. And I contested by the name of Gabriel Serrano, who's a street photographer in New York City, won the competition and her design got picked up buy the sneakers app. So as you can see, it's a very uh, 
colorful shoe in certain aspects. It's a very different shoe. Uh, it's very unique, and I'm gonna explain a little bit of it to you. All right, check that out. All right, so the shoe is an Air Max 98, and the concept behind this shoe is the city of New York. So I've been to New York uh, quite a few times. You know, I got some videos posted. You can check those out. And New York is a, is, a, is a great city. I love it. One of my favorites. Hustle and bustle. A lot of things to do. A lot of good food. A lot of tourist attractions. And this shoe is a representation of New York City. So I'm going to break it down for you a little bit uh, based off of what I know. First of all, on the inside of the shoe, you see you have these grid coordinates, uh, longitude, latitude, I think. And that is supposed to be the grid coordinates of New York City. As you can see, they're on both shoes. All right. And the uh, outsole of the shoe is a, is a clear outsole, which I actually always love on all shoes. Translucent clear outsole. It has a blue uh, bubble in the back with a green Nike swoosh. And then you can see that the air bubble, inside the air bubble on this shoe, it's a bright, pretty color blue. Um, I definitely love uh, blue or uh, colorful air bubbles inside. Uh, definitely brings out the shoe. Okay, and then you got also part of the, the midsole is a white you know, rubber material. And then moving up to the upper of the shoe, you see this grainy gray. So this is a material that I didn't quite catch just looking at it online. I didn't know what that was. And then when I saw them in person at the Nike store, I realized that it was like a, you know, a representation of concrete is what it's supposed to be for, for the city of New York. So check that out. All right, so that's a pretty dope material. That's something unique that you don't have on a lot of shoes. Uh, I don't think I've seen this on any shoes. And then, um, as you can see, uh, starting on more of the upper of the shoe, the color gradient goes from light all the way up to dark, all the way on the heel of the shoe and the tab of the shoe. And according to the designer of the shoe, that represents the different uh, cultures and ethnicities and races in the city of New York. You know, it's a melting pot city. It's all type of people from all over the world come to migrate to New York. So that's what the gradient color represents. I think that's pretty dope. And then also on this shoe, you see there is blue shoe strings, which is supposed to represent uh, the water that surrounds the city. You know, Manhattan is basically an island. And uh, so that's what the blue is representing. All right. so. So you got the blue strings and then on the tongue you have like a it's like a navigation symbol i think it is maybe all right and that's pretty dope it's green outlined in that same electro blue and then on the left shoe uh, pretty much everything is the same up until you get to the shoe strings where you have the greenish color shoe strings and i'm told that that actually represents the statue of liberty in new york city so it's a, it's a dope concept and dope uh, thinking behind this shoe. I'm actually glad I picked these up. You know, I couldn't beat it for the price. Um, so let me know what you think about these shoes. Uh, they're still available on the Nike app if you want them. Um, oh, one more thing. Inside the shoe, you also see like a, a water and land type of area inside the shoe. All right, boom. So let me know what you think about this shoe, man. I think it's a dope shoe. I'm glad I picked it up. The shoe did come with a pair of spare laces, all white laces, so you can't be mad at that. You know, you can just go plain white, but I definitely like the blue and green colorway of the shoe strings. Again, on the back tab of the shoe, you got this uh, like black and white tab. So yeah, it's a pretty dope shoe, man. Air Max 98, Gabriel Serrano, got him for a steal, can't be mad. Uh, let me know if you cop this shoe. Let me know what you think about it. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the page. Make sure you like the video. And uh, you know, stay safe out there with this coronavirus, man, it's real. OG Bo Beast TV.
Peace.